Hope everybody's had a good uh, middle of the week day here on Wednesday. I had a pretty good day. I got a lot done. Still got a little bit left to do, but we're we're getting there, making some progress. So tonight, uh, we're not opening a whole lot of stuff tonight, but we have on tap a Gold Rush autograph baseball jersey, the 2018 version that just released today. We'll also open another case of the Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs, and then we'll open a third of a case of 2013 Limited Football. Yeah, we're taking a little, a little trip back in time there to open some 2013 stuff. So before we start ripping into packs, we do have some information to go over. First up there, uh, you will see that my feedback is completely automated on eBay. That does seem to come up some, so I just like to be up front, let everybody know what the situation is. That way you never have to worry about waiting on me to get caught up on feedback. Basically, as soon as you leave positive feedback for me, you should instantly get it in return. And then, of course, the second and most important thing there is thank you. I appreciate everyone who bids with me and breaks with me. Many of you come in and chat with me, hang out, keep me company. So however you're participating in the break tonight, I appreciate you joining us and uh, thank you very much. Next, we're going to take a little spin through the stuff that is already listed on eBay. These are the items that are currently available for bidding. They end over the course of the next five days. And I, I usually list new stuff uh, pretty much every night. And they do typically run for five days. So this, this list is constantly changing. Uh, tomorrow night, we have got some one box breaks, another autographed jersey, and the last of our Bowman Jumbo baseball. Yeah, so we've got one more break left of, of Bowman Jumbo. Friday night, uh, we've got another baseball jersey, another case of the autographed baseballs, and then we're going to open some 2011 Crown Royal football. On Saturday, some 2011 Prime Signatures, some more 2013 Limited Football, and some more 2011 Crown Royal. So we're working through uh, a few flashbacks here over the next few days. On Sunday note, we are going to start at 9.30 instead of our normal 10 o'clock start time. And we've got some 2012 Signature Series Baseball there, some more autographed jerseys, more autographed baseballs and another full case of Diamond Kings baseball. So that's a full 12 box in our case, and we'll break that on Sunday night. Monday, a little basketball with a Timeless Treasures uh, break there. Another one of our three-peat boxes, which are pretty cool. It'll have an autographed basketball jersey, an autographed actual basketball, and an autographed photograph. We'll open the last of our 13 Limited that night and another case of 2018 Majestic Football as a full case. So that's what we're looking like in the days ahead there. And for tonight, this is the order we're breaking in as well. So it will be the autographed jersey, then the case of autographed baseballs, then the 2013 Limited Football. A couple of things to note, the first two breaks are completely free shipping. Anytime you do a break with me that is entirely free shipping, it's going to go out six or seven days after the auction ends on average. So expect for the jersey and the autograph baseballs to ship out about Tuesday. Uh, occasionally they may go sooner if you have another package coming or something like that, but Tuesday's a pretty safe guess there. Our paid shipping break tonight is the Panini Limited Football Break, and that I am estimating to ship on Saturday. As always, if I can get it to you faster than that, I certainly will do so. In any of the breaks, if you do not hit something, if your team is not the team that is pulled, you are still entitled to a consolation card for your team. It can be from any year, any series. It's typically going to ship with your next package. Uh, I track that for a rolling 90-day period. If you do want it shipped out to you sooner than that, you shoot me a message over on eBay. Let me know. We'll work out the details. And of course, there's more details about all of that in the listing description as well. So first up, 2018 Gold Rush Autograph Baseball Jersey Break Number 1. It just came out today. Yay. And of course, everything we're opening tonight ended tonight, May uh, Wednesday, May the 16th. And we're live streaming it tonight as well. You've got the team names on the left-hand side and the eBay user ID, who is the winning bidder across from each team there. Looks like we had one team that didn't sell. That is designated as no bids buyback. Anytime you see that, 
just basically means no one adopted that team. No one gave it a forever home. So if it were to come out for that team, it would stay here with me. Otherwise, it will go out to one of you. Finally, the focus there changed. I know the background went out of focus. Don't worry. I did that on purpose. We're still good. We're still going to be able to see everything. And these just came out today. I'm really excited about it. We always have such good luck with Gold Rush. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you. Here's our checklist because I didn't, uh, you know, they put them on the back of the box. So that's kind of handy sometimes if you're interested in it. They may have it on the website as well, but I always like to look at it there on the back of the box too. So they don't do that on all their sports, but they do on the, on the baseball jerseys, which I think is very handy. And of course, lots of times we pull awesome stuff out of Gold Rush baseball jerseys. That's why we've been all anxiously awaiting them all week. <clears throat> And I do have some unpaid stuff yet uh, tonight, guys. So please, if you are one of the unpaid positions in this or one of the other breaks, please don't be one of those people that bids and doesn't pay. That costs me so much money all the time because I am i don't like to take spots away from people. I do often let it ride for that reason. And, you know, I just probably trust people sometimes more than I should. All right, Palmiero is our signature. You can see it right there. There's our JSA authentication sticker down at the bottom. It matches this JSA authentication card, which of course uh, I will fold up and put there in the jersey. So when you get it, uh, just look for that. Looks like it's a custom. It doesn't, I don't see any of the uh, MLB tags or anything, but still that is a nice little hit for the Cubbies. And there once again is uh, your look at the signature. Um, Dale, the Rays, I don't know why the Rays didn't sell in the Jersey break tonight. I have no idea. I have not, uh, dissected that checklist, so I don't know if, but that was an unsold spot. So, uh, for sure you didn't have them in this break because they didn't, uh, it was unsold in there tonight. So I, I assume that they do. Usually the Gold Rush jerseys have possibilities for all the teams but as I said it just came out today and I have not torn apart that checklist yet so I don't know next up guys we are opening up the case uh, the onyx preferred players baseballs if you didn't see this earlier if you happen to jump in late uh, please take a moment there to review the information you see in regard to your anticipated shipping date as well as consolation cards and how all that works if your team is not pulled. So this is three 2018 Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs. This is a full inner case break. It's break number eight. Our, in, our eBay end date, of course, like everything else, is tonight, Wednesday, uh, May 16th, and we're opening it up tonight as well. And you'll see a couple of different things here. Any team that does not have a hit in this product is noted there as no hits not listed. That really literally means I did not list it for sale because there are no possibilities for hits. So that's what those teams are about. And we had a couple of teams that did not sell. And once again, those are designated as no bids buyback. And that was uh, the Brewers and the Pirates in this break. So a handful of teams uh, never listed because there are no hits. And then the others, a couple that didn't sell. And the rest, hopefully, going to go out the door to you guys, right? Hi, Superfly. How are you, my friend? Oh, Dale, if you have them for the baseball, then uh, yeah, of course, they have a possibility for hits in here. And the checklist actually for these autographed baseballs is posted right there in the listing. Uh, it is one of the pictures that you see there. And I might even have it down in the bottom uh, as well. There is, of course, the product description is at the bottom of each of my eBay listings. And I might have typed out the checklist and put it in there too. I can't remember. It's been a while since I created this listing. But I do know that the uh, checklist is available there in photograph form on the listing for sure. 
Oh, David, um, you know what? Normally, if I had if I had caught it a little bit ahead of time, I would have done that. But of course, these are already I had already cut the seals on these, and we're already well on our way. So I appreciate the offer, of course, to pick up the two unsold teams in here. But at this point, I think we're just gonna let them ride tonight. Ebers, we did open the jersey. It was the Cubs. It was a Chicago Cubs jersey. Here's our first autograph baseball, and that, I always like to look at it and see if I can guess who it's going to be. Could be Ryan McMahon, but it's probably not. Uh, I don't even know for sure if he's in this series, but anyway, it looks like could be that. There's our Onyx uh, authentication sticker, and now we'll find out who it actually is. Our Onyx authentication card goes with the sticker there on the ball, and this will tell us who we have. I was way off. It is Reese McGuire for our baseball tonight. And I'm gonna have to look at the checklist myself on that one. Did I leave it on my desk? Yeah, hang on a second, guys. I left it laying on my desk. laying on my desk but now I don't see it on there either tag on it all right well I may have to go uh, I may have to go look at the picture on eBay myself <laughs> to, get, to get that off the checklist what in the world where did I lay the checklist I don't know all right well we're not going to keep holding that up I'll go look it up uh, in a minute and we'll find out uh, where Reese McGuire goes I will look it up on there myself Oh, Craig typed in that he thinks that it is um, a Pittsburgh Pirate. So maybe, I don't know. I will I will go to uh, eBay and try and check that out, though, here in a minute. We'll see if we can't figure it out. That looks like it could be Clint Frazier. It may not be, but I, as I said, I like to try to guess, see who they're going to be. <laughs> PSA DNA sticker, also an Onyx authentication sticker. So let's let's check our paperwork on this one. There's your Onyx card that will match your sticker. The PSA card that matches the sticker. And it is, oh, I was way off again. Christian Yellick, who was a Marlin. The question is whether or not he's a Marlin on the checklist. And that's going to be the, that's the question of the hour. So I'll tell you what we're going to do here, guys. Let me, let me just pull up a listing and I'm going to add it in here and switch over so we can all see it. I think might be the easiest thing. Just give me a hot second to get the listing, a, one of these listings up, and I should be able to find our picture that has the checklist in it that will answer this question for us. Because obviously Christian Yellick got traded, so it, it depends on what he is uh, how he's listed here on the checklist and it doesn't want to open up what is going on tonight good gracious all right um yeah it's not letting me add it tonight for some reason i can see it but i can't get it up on the screen it will not it's there in little tiny version but it won't open up so I will check it out here in a hot second. I can't believe I can't find my printed out copy of that, but whether or not I can believe that I can't find it, and I in fact can't find it, so there you go. There's the Onyx authentication, a PSA DNA authentication, and once again, our Onyx card, along with our PSA DNA card. And the third one here is Jonathan Shoup. And he might, he might be the Baltimore Orioles, but let's, uh, let me switch back over here and see if I can figure out a way to, I'm just trying to figure out a way to get this added so that you can see it, because it's, that is not it, sorry. <laughs> see, it's right there, but it's like tiny, and I can't get it to come up any uh, larger on the screen for you. 
So let's scroll down through here and see, did I copy and paste it at the bottom? Maybe. Oh, I did. Yay. That makes me happy. Okay, so you can see this, right? Because, yeah, we've got that typed in there. That's what's in the little picture, but typed out. So our Jonathan Shoup right there is the Baltimore Orioles, uh, which is what I thought on him. Then we are looking to see how Christian Yellick is. He is on here as Milwaukee, so he is on there with his traded team. So that does go to the Brewers. And then our third one that we needed to look at is Reese McGuire. And where is Reese McGuire on here? See, I also have them alphabetized on the one I keep on my desk that I have somehow not managed to hang on to. And I'm sure I've overlooked this. Why can't I find this? Obviously, it's got to be on here. Why do I not see it? What in the heck? Does anybody see the Reese McGuire on there? Uh, where is it? I literally do not see it on there. And I've scrolled up through here like three times. Does anybody see it? Reese McGuire, where are you on here? All right, well, I do not see it there. So let me see. Um, I will go back and double check that later if anybody else saw that on the checklist that i did not see like four times in a row please let me know and if it's it will go to whatever team is on the checklist if i cannot find him on the official onyx checklist which again is that little tiny picture that i'm not able to enlarge right now but obviously you at home probably can if reese mcguire doesn't come up on that checklist then i will send it to the team where he is currently, uh, who with whom he is currently affiliated, with which, I guess it is, with which he is currently affiliated, all right? So nothing is kind of cooperating with me tonight. I can't make my, I can't make my picture big on the screen to show you. I couldn't, don't know what has happened to my checklist. I don't know. One of those nights, I guess. The, the midweek blues, if you will. All right, let's get our spreadsheet up and running, and we will take a look at that and then get rolling with our limited football tonight. So, of course, once again, this is a paid shipping break on 2013 limited football, anticipating a Saturday shipping date. If I can get this out to you sooner than that, of course I will, but that's kind of my best estimate. Every once in a while, if something goes great, it'll go sooner. If something goes uh, out of control, it might go uh, a day later. In this particular break, if you happen to not pull something for your team, your consolation card or cards would ship out with the rest of the break, since this one happens to be a paid shipping break. This is the start of a brand new case. They do them in weird quantities, 15 box cases. So that's why we're doing it as a third of a case, because I can't really do a half. So it would be seven and a half boxes, so that doesn't work. So here's what we're going to do. All these boxes are coming out, all 15 of them. I will use a marker and number each of them on the end, then use random.org. I'll bring you along with me while that happens. And random.org will uh, basically determine which five boxes we open tonight. Then our remaining boxes will do the same thing in break number two, except I guess we'll number them on a, on a different side. And then, of course, by the time we get to the final break, it won't matter because there'll only be five left. But, but until then, we'll go through this process each time just to determine which ones are open, keep it all nice and neat and easy to follow and all that kind of stuff. So let me get us back over here. And of course, I'm just going to type in 1 through 15. It's pretty simple. And I will hit random one single time. And whatever five numbers come up on here first are the five that will open tonight. All right, make sure they're all in there. There's our 1 through 15. And here we go. 
So we're going to be opening 12, 13, 9, 6, 11. So 6, 9, 11, 12, and 13. 6, 9, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, give me one second here to get these uh, other 10 back in their case, and then we'll get started on this. Oh, Dale said he's having some problems with his feed uh, is buffering. Uh, so, yeah. Did you, Dale, did it get sorted out for you now at this point? Are you, are you back on, on board with us here? Hopefully. Uh, why do I never, I never remember how these come out of here. We haven't opened this in a long time. That's part of the problem. It's probably been, gosh, has this been more than a year since we've opened this? Maybe. Hi, David. This is a third case of 2013 Panini Limited Football uh, that ended on eBay tonight, which is, of course, May the 16th. It was the start of a new case, so once again, we took everything out, numbered it on the end, and used random.org to figure out which, which ones we're opening up tonight versus which ones will be left for one of our other breaks. And after we look at what we found here, I will also put the spreadsheet information back up again. I know people jump in and out and... You may have missed uh, some info there, so we'll get that back up and running for you as well after we get everything opened up here. So we're looking for three hits per box. And I'm going to get some sleeves out and let's see what we've let's see what we've got here. We're starting out with a Pittsburgh Steeler, but it's not probably the one you're looking for. This one is Jarvis Jones to 299. And wouldn't you know, I have out the thick sleeves and yeah, we need a we need a regular sleeve for Jarvis here. Next up, we have an autograph hit for the Lions with Ezekiel Ansaw. And that is numbered to 25 for the Lions, and that's a sticker autograph on there. I think a lot of these, if not most of them in here, are uh, sticker autos. Memorabilia hit from the Chargers. It is Keenan Allen, numbered to 199. A redemption. We're going to leave that setting. We'll hit it at the end of the break. We'll come back to it. Jamal Charles, numbered to 49 for the Kansas City Chiefs. Calvin Johnson, numbered to 399. That is also for the Lions. And a little Alex Smith action, numbered to 399 for the Kansas City Chiefs. So that is pack one slash box one. Brett Favre to 349 for the Green Bay Packers. Another Steeler, and it's still not the Steeler you want. I know, right? Where's Le'Veon? Marcus Wheaton, numbered to 99, but you did at least get a really nice three-color patch out of it for Marcus. And that is followed by a Santonio Holmes patch for the Jets. It is numbered to 99. For the Saints, Kenny Stills. <laughs> Kenny's autograph is just crazy really <laughs> just the k k and the s it's very consistent though it's numbered to 49 and i bet kenny uh you know if, if kenny has kids they probably have a really easy time forging his signature to get out of class early and stuff like that <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> rob gronkowski that is numbered to 49 the gronk for the patriots Brandon LaFell for the Panthers, numbered to 399. 
Matt Schaub, Texans, $3.99. <laughs> yeah, David, you're right. David just typed in a K and an S with a, a little hyphen in between, and it does pretty much just almost look identical to the <laughs> Kenny signature on his cards. You are not far off on that, my friend. Jay Novacek, this is two, 349, that's for the Dallas Cowboys. Signature hit, Robert Alford for the Falcons, and it is to 299. Relic for Eddie Lacy and the Green Bay Packers to 199 gonna happen with Eddie Lacy anyway I mean he didn't he got traded of course last year he wasn't super super productive he wasn't terrible but he wasn't maybe great and so huh, I don't know if these I don't remember how long a deal he signed uh with the Seahawks to 49 Marshawn Lynch beast mode Seattle Seahawks for the Carolina Panthers we have Cam Newton numbered to 25 my man, Big Ben Roethlisberger for the Pittsburgh Steelers, 399 And, of course, you saw we had another redemption. I stacked it up there in the back. We're going to look them all up at once at the end of the break. Jared Cook to 399 That's for the Rams. Followed by Doug Williams for the Redskins to 349 Robert Woods, Buffalo Bills. To, uh, I started to say to 199 but that's to straight up 99 No one in front of it. It's a nice looking little four color patch too there for Robert Woods. A relic for the Browns numbered to 99. Greg Little for the Cleveland Browns. Oh, nice for the Raiders, right? Darren McFadden. I like that. McFadden is, is he not numbered? Yeah, he is. Four or five. I'm like, how is Darren McFadden not numbered in here? But he is. I just had lost it down there. He is four of five. You've got a relic and a signature, and that's a pretty sweet little hit for the Raiders. Stephen Taylor, numbered to 199 for the Arizona Cardinals. Coming up next is Michael Rivera. That's also the Raiders, numbered to three, or to, sorry, to 299. Demarius Thomas, to 399 for the Denver Broncos. One pack left to go. And actually, you know what? After we recap this, I'll put up the spreadsheet info again that I talked about a minute ago. And then after that, because by then everybody will have seen everything they need to see. I'm going to go back and look at that checklist again and see if I can find Reese on there. I swear to you, I did not see him. I looked at it like three times. And if I can find him on there, great. And if I can't find him on there, then uh, it will be sent off to the team he is currently affiliated with. Indianapolis Colts, Edgerin James, 349. Andrew Luck to 399 for the Colts. A little Matt Ryan to three ninety nine Falcons. Novasek again to three forty nine Cowboys. And a D'Angelo Williams Field Vision. That's uh, kind of an interesting little insert for the Panthers. And is that? I don't guess. How is? I guess Field Vision is not numbered. It has been a while since we've opened this. I don't remember Field Vision from the last time I opened it, but I guess they were in there, right? One would assume. Trent Richardson, Cleveland Browns. Definitely a little bit of chipping noticeable in the upper left in particular. This is numbered to 25. Of course, many, if not most, of these cards do have some minor imperfections on their edges and their corners. It's just it's more noticeable, I think, on some than others, especially when they're a darker color sort of uh, card. 
groundwork DeMarco Murray relic for the Cowboys, and that is numbered to 49. I'm guessing that's going to be game used. Yeah, game worn. So that's always cool when you get the game worns. And the Steelers again, and daggone it, it's still not Le'Veon Bell for you. It is another nice three-color patch, and it's Marcus Wheaton again. And he is numbered to 199. Of course, you got the autograph uh, on that one as well. Now our redemptions. You might wonder, why am I putting them in a sleeve? It's because I'm going to write on it in a minute. And somebody got really upset about a year or two ago about me writing on the card. So ever since then, I start writing on sleeves. <laughs> okay, first up, we have a rookie jumbo uh, logo signature that is for Quentin Patton. I believe that's going to be a 49er, but of course we are going to go the checklist and check it out. And then Justin Hunter, Material Phenom Silver Spotlight. I believe Justin Hunter will be a Titan, but let's roll on over here to our friend Panini's website, whereby we will bring up the checklist and we'll find out for sure, not only make sure our teams are right as I uh, as I am speculating which ones they are. We'll also find out what these are going to be numbered to. Or they may be open edition. If it's that, we'll of course find that out too. So the first one we're going to look up is the Rookie Jumbo RC Logo Signature. Rookie Jumbo RC Logo Signatures. Yeah, that's it. And it is card number 30. So where are you, Quentin Patton? There he is. And he is, in fact, a 49er, as we thought. And it looks like it will be numbered to 99. Let me get that written on there. And now we're going to look up Justin Hunter, who, again, I believe is going to be a Titan. This is Material Phenom's Silver Spotlight. Where is that? I see. No, oh, good grief. Why? Now, see, why would they do that? Why would you have black spotlight, gold spotlight, put something in the middle, and then silver spotlight? Is that not silly? Why wouldn't you just have, well, whatever. All right, card number 216, Justin Hunter, is the Titans, as suspected, and numbered to 49. All right, that one is all labeled up. Now, let's go back and recap this break for limited football. And then, of course, at the end of the recap, spreadsheet will go up after the spreadsheet goes up again. Then I'm going to go back and revisit that one guy we couldn't find on the checklist out of the autograph baseballs. So a redemption for Quentin Patton and the 49ers. Guys, you may notice these redemptions are expired. You do still want to redeem them in your Panini account. A lot of times they still have these older cards. When they do, they're usually going to send them to you within a couple months. That one is Justin uh, Hunter for the Titans. It'll be to 49. If you redeem it and you haven't seen anything in a couple of months, that probably means they don't still have it. In that case, they will work with you to substitute a different card uh, or a different player or something. They'll usually ask you who some of your favorite teams and players are. But here's the, here's the unfortunate part of that. You have to find a live person to help you work through that process. And that is really hard to do at Panini. This is technically not a hit for field vision, but it kind of is. I mean, it's an insert and it's not a common one. So I decided we'd show it again anyway. And then there's our nice Darren McFadden to five, which is a very cool hit for the Raiders. So back to the, back to the Panini saga. Uh, if you are trying to track down a live person, my best suggestion is always going to be some form of social media so try twitter or try facebook sometimes you have to reach out to them several times before you get accomplished what you want to accomplish but i would uh, strongly recommend that that's the way you do it otherwise redemptions that are expired or, or stuff like that that they don't have anymore They'll just set in your account for all of time and eternity. Unless, you know, you go to a show sometimes at the National or some of the shows, they'll have a booth set up where you can agree at that point to accept a substitute, but then you don't get to choose, you know, kind of 
whether it's a favorite team or a favorite player, they just have a random selection of stuff and you say okay and they clear it out in, in the list and hand you something. So, so that's always another option. All right, let's do this. First, we're gonna fix the focus there because we don't have to look at stuff up close right now for this part. And here's our spreadsheet info again. So if you were in this break for limited football, that is our paid shipping break. Again, anticipating a Saturday shipment. If I can get it out quicker, I will. If you didn't pull a card in this particular break, you will not have to wait for your consolation card or cards. They will be shipped with the rest of the break since it is a consolation break. Our first two breaks, which were the autographed baseball jersey and the autographed baseballs, those uh, with free shipping, anticipating to go out on Tuesday. Free shipping stuff usually goes out six to seven days after the break. And on those, if you did not hit and you are due a consolation card, the consolation card will usually ship with your next hit. I track it uh, over a rolling 90-day period. I check it on eBay right before I ship out a package, so that's how that works. And if you do want it sent separately by itself, I can work that out for you. Just, uh, you know, hit me up on eBay, send me a message, let me know that's what you want, and we'll, we'll work it out. These are the breaks that are already listed on eBay coming up over the course of the next five days. Uh, at, of course, we've got more limited football coming up a couple of different times. We've got some one-box breaks tomorrow night, an autographed football jersey, the last of the Bowman Jumbo. Friday will be some more autographed baseball jerseys and more autographed baseballs along with 2011 Crown Royal. Saturday, some 2011 Prime Signatures, 2013 Limited again and 2011 Crown Royal again. Sunday, note the earlier start time of 9.30 as opposed to our normal 10 o'clock starting time where we have some 2012 Signature Series baseball, uh, some more Gold Rush jerseys, some more Onyx uh, autographed baseballs and a full 12 box inner case of Diamond Kings baseball, which we haven't opened for a month or two. And then on Monday, we've got Timeless Treasures basketball, a three peat basketball box, which has an autographed jersey, an autographed basketball, and an autographed picture in it. The last of our limited football out of this case, and then a new case of Majestic football, 2018 Majestic. So that's what Monday night, the 21st, will look like. Meanwhile, here's what else we're going to do. I'm going to go back and look at this stupid checklist again and see why can't I find this one player. So I know a lot of you are taking off. Many of you probably already have. So uh, for those of you who are hanging around, here's what I'm working on. We had the Onyx Preferred Players Baseballs that we opened a little bit ago, and I left my checklist laying somewhere. Can't find it. Of course, I have the checklist uh as part of the listing and the little picture for whatever reason won't go large enough for you to see it on the screen won't enlarge I don't know why however I had it typed out as well at the bottom of the listing so that's what we're looking at now and I'm trying to find Reese McGuire because I looked at this a minute ago like two or three different times we scrolled through this I could not find Reese McGuire so where is the guy if you see him, you know, type it in chat. If you see him when we go by, because somehow I'm not seeing him. I don't know where he is. I don't think he's on here, but I'm just double checking to make sure one way or the other. Because if we don't find him, then I will uh, award him to the team where who he plays with currently. And I'm going to check one more thing, because I can make the picture bigger on my own computer out of a different browser, but of course I don't have that browser set up to work during the break, so I can't, like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it, but I can't fix it so that you can see it larger, you can probably see it larger at your house on your own computer, but I can't enlarge it here for some stupid reason. And the guy's not on here, he's just not on the checklist, there is no Reese McGuire on this checklist. I would have seen it by now. So yeah, he's not on here. How strange. Why would you put something in the product that's not even on the checklist? I don't know. Do not know. So instead, let's go do something else. Let's go look for something else. We'll find out where he's playing now. And that's where it's going to go. 
I think you're on the same view. Yeah, okay, good. I do have you on the same view as me. So there we go. Um, well, I really wanted to find it. There we go, on MILB. That's what we... That's the official next in line, guys. If ever a manufacturer checklist is not available or doesn't list something, next in line is we would go to MLB.com or MILB.com or NFL.com, NBA.com, etc. So this clearly shows that Reese McGuire's parent club is the Toronto Blue Jays. So that's where the Reese McGuire baseball will go. Okay, it's going to go to the Toronto Blue Jays. Of course, the other two that we pulled tonight were on the checklist. It was only Reese McGuire that was up in the air. So now that is all sorted out and taken care of, and we are wrapped up for this evening. Once again, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow night, and hopefully we'll see some or some or all of you again. In the meantime, take care.